This is a conventional spray dryer. Spray dryer is widely used in industry to produce dry powder from slurry. Slurry from the mixing tank is introduced to the drying chamber through a rotary atomizer at the top. At the same time, dry air is heated to high temperature by a heater. The heated air is then introduced through an air disperser which is mounted around the atomizer. The rotary atomizer then breaks the liquid into tiny droplets and disperses the slurry droplets into the heating chamber. Atomization is important here because it creates greater liquid surface area for maximum contact between air and liquid droplets. The atomizer will produce a liquid mist where it leaves the atomizer and be distributed over the drying chamber. Now let us focus on the drying chamber. The hot air flows in a rotational movement and hence it is evenly distributed in the whole chamber. When the hot air is in contact with the liquid mist, fast evaporation of solvent begins. When solvent evaporates from the droplet surface, solid particle forms and falls to the bottom of the drying chamber. The hot drying gas flows through the spray drying chamber and carries the product of the cyclone. Powders are then extracted from the cyclone and the hot drying air is eliminated to the atmosphere through a suction blower. The advantages of spray dryer are, the dry particle size can be easily controlled, many heat sensitive products can be spray dried easily at relatively high inlet temperatures, short residence time is required, minimum overall flavor loss in the food industry, lastly it ensures high product quality. The disadvantages of the spray dryer are, the equipment is very costly and bulky, cleaning is time consuming, and lastly, a lot of heat is wasted as it has low thermal efficiency. An example of industrial application is the production of orange juice.